Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. So on many occasions I've done these games right before the daily reset. However, for me today is Sunday, so I'm trying to do this a bit early so to avoid conflicting with other people's programs and such. Um, here we go. Good luck. Double swinging rook is our opponent's preferred opening. Well, they're gonna get it. So this seems to be the opening I have the best grasp of, and I should just play it consistently both on this website and on the teaching ladder. Um, that said, where's the fun in being perfectly consistent? Fun is in winning. Let's uh, be honest. Oh, I should have pushed one of these pawns forward twice already. Now it's too late. I keep forgetting about that. Eventually I'll learn though, right? Is there still hope for me? Oh, fuck. I forgot. Since I've not castled my king, this is also possible. Um, fine. You know what? We're gonna play our king in the center of this castle, and it's going to be a modified duck castle, or something like that. Uh, I've got three pawns in hand, so I got two pawns for my knight instead of as many as I'd like to have. But we'll find a way to make this work regardless. Um, I would have much preferred to have the knight instead of the pawns, but I've got what I've got. I want the silver not anywhere near the side that I'm trying to attack on. I'm still also defending over here. But yeah, if this can chase my rook, that's really annoying. Alright. Opponent offers a bishop exchange. I see no reason to decline this offer. I need, since I'm down material, I need to do something mildly chaotic. And this seems to foot the bill. Just double check. Okay, I did capture everything in my overlay, and that includes the chat window. Nice. Yes, they're debating this night drop or something similar. It actually looks pretty decent. But once you've dropped the knight, it can't be redropped. So, okay. Yeah, this looks smarter. Um. Hmm. I don't know how I try to press for an advantage here. There's only so much pressing I can do. That is a bishop drop. Um, that does raise questions. 
such as what is the bishop doing? Okay, I'm going to try to invade on this file because rooks work very well on open files, and this is an open file. This also prevents the silver from immediately moving there. However, this silver could move toward... well, it can't. My knight actually defends this. Hmm. Okay, I guess this is what the opponent had planned. Um... I observed that this bishop blocks the silver. That's what motivated me to move the rook here in the first place, is seeing that I could chase this back. Um, and then... Then I don't know. It would be good to know, but I don't know. <laughs> Nanafun. How about this? Okay. I found an idea. That's not nothing. So my bishop is at least as good as their bishop, right? I've certainly given the opponent something to consider. I don't want to exchange rooks, but, well, I might not have much of a choice. They might force my rook to move here, and then kick it again with this knight, and they might have to move here, and then they could force a rook. Well, I don't have much of a choice about if they offer a rook exchange, what I can do there. Um, this knight is trapped. It's aggressive if they can get a general, but um, that's an if. So they're threatening a silver drop here if I'm careless, which could happen. I was also thinking about this check, but it seems kind of pointless at this time. <laughs> because they just have a lot of pieces defending the king, uh, so... Oh, okay. We'll do this. And we'll do this. And what's their response? Welcome. Hello. Ah, this is how they defend the knight. Okay. Well, that does defend a knight. I can't deny that. <laughs> um. Hmm. Okay, that does save the bishop. I can't deny that either. Um. Is there some way I can avoid losing my rook here? There's gotta be, right? Gofun. Why do I need my rook? Because I just don't want to give them an extra rook. That's why.
This is so clumsy. So here's how we save the rook. It's by getting it chased all the way across the board. Oh, fun. Um, I forgot the silver can actually do something useful. I forgot. Okay, but it doesn't. It could, but it didn't. Um, so now it can't. What a game. Alright, so I'm up a rook, and I just have to be careful not to get checkmated. Easier said than done. Hmm. So much easier said than done. All right, we attack this knight. Oh, I forgot the silver protects this square. Not just the horse, but also the silver are both protecting this. My big idea was to drop the knight here and try to do something. It's not a great idea. It's an okay idea, but not a great one. Um, Alright, so they have a knight. Just defend my king. This gold is not going anywhere. This horse is busy babysitting this pawn. I shouldn't have tried so hard to defend this lance. That defensive move is going to cost me later, if it hasn't already. Right, so my rationale here... Um... So that I could wait one turn before taking this gold. And now I take it. Now if they promote this pawn, I take the horse. So we're looking at the same position, just with me having taken this knight. Um, Something. Hmm? We'll get the king out of there. We'll try to build some kind of fortress. They could do this rook drop check. I could exchange rooks. My rook belongs in the opposing camp anyway. So that's a mate threat. Either piece takes here with mate in one. No, I'm sorry, not mate in one. Rook takes here, king retreats, and then rook mates. The knight cannot, the knight over here in hand, cannot be used to directly defend that. You could interpose the knight. Um, in this case, it doesn't work because I just take it, but it's an idea. Uh, you could also interpose that I still take it. Alright, let's get another proverb out there for fun. What's our next proverb? A pawn is worth a thousand golds. It depends on the pawn. Good luck.
I don't like it when they... Okay. Oh! Oh, my. That is an interesting shape. Um... Hmm. So, here we just move all the pawns forward. What? Oh, okay, the idea here is to cut off my rook. Uh, I've seen similar, but fine. Uh, I don't need to advance my edge pawn. In many cases, I felt like I needed to, and it's just always backfired. Um... All right, fine, we'll take the space. So this gold prevents me from advancing the pawn this turn and many subsequent turns. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna chase this gold. That's the plan. It's not the world's most sophisticated plan, but it'll do. And this reinstates the pin on the center line. Um, If I push, they're eventually going to get this pawn here. Hmm. Back you go. I'm a bit confused as to what I'm supposed to do next. Feels like maybe my king is safer in the castle than, you know, watching its predator. Um, I have to take this. Not sure what that does. Oh, they're going to bring the rook over very quickly here. Oh, shnikes. That's not Nothing. good. Um, I'm a move too slow f to stop it. Um, no. Maybe. All right. This is awful. That's also awful. It's even worse. This is me losing all of my pieces because I missed that. Um, what do we do now? Let's try to make some threats.
Yeah, a pawn might be worth a thousand golds, but that lance just took my knight. Well, we'll get this pawn, right? It's worth a thousand golds, right? So, how bad can it be to get the pawn? Hmm, this is not going well. All right, we'll attack stronger and stronger here. Really, I want to aim for the king, but they built up this massive barricade that I just don't have a way to break. And my rook can't get over there thanks to this dude. There's the pawn. It's worth a thousand golds. Alright, we're getting mated. Oh, wait, I can defend. I can defend my pawn. And now I'm attacking all their pieces. Maybe the pawn is actually worth a thousand golds. My king is going to have no pawns next to it in just a second. Um, what's this? They're going to take another pawn? Oh, they're going to take my silver for a knight. Go okay. from... We'll live. Maybe. Or we die. Um. Hmm. They want to use the square where my gold stands. Um. such a mess. But this pawn's pinned, so that if they were to take here, they'd sacrifice their bishop. Gold takes pawn is probably the sanest thing to do at this point. Although this lance is hanging and I'm trying to attack the king. I'm getting closer and closer to finally it being my turn to attack something. Other than you know, exploding my castle. Um. They might... Well, they want to drop a lance somewhere, but I don't know where they would drop it. Maybe here. Oh, okay. Something's happening here. Um, this rook is defending a bishop. This pawn is defending a gold. Something's about to change. Um, Hmm. 
the king is distant from the center. So I need a lot of heavy force to break all these barricades. But we're close to having that amount of force. Hmm. That is the pawn that's worth a thousand golds right there. That's the one. Sampun. Yeah, so that just landed exactly at the right place at the right time. It's beautiful. And consequently, my game is ruined. Um, whoa, okay, I can't take that. I thought I could take it. Mm-hmm. Oh no, my bishop's hanging. Oh well. I'm so fixated on trying to break this from the side that I'm allowing everything else to crumble. Um, Nifun. All right, let's run. I didn't say I was going to get very far running, but I need to run. Hmm. Ippun Sanjubio. All right, you win. Well played. Thanks for the game. Two down, one to go. Good luck. Oh, I should have seen this thing a mile away. My bad. Um. Well, they can't defend that immediately. Um. I mean, the rook could defend it, but that would be crazy. <laughs> so... Yeah, we're not going to see that defense. Uh, oh my freaking heck. You know, we just did a gambit. <laughs> this is an epic gambit. I don't think I've ever done this one before. Uh...
I was, okay. You know I like to instigate, right? We're playing for an audience. And boy, do I play to entertain. But, um, I just gave up a rook for this. That's a lot to give up for questionable advantage. Um, so we'll see what I can make at this. Uh, this could be really rough. There we go. That was the initiative we sought. Is it worth it? No. Not even remotely. Uh, is it fun? I'll let you be the judge. So they were looking at sacrificing on my center square. And I said, I'm not having any of that. Um, do I take this pawn? <sighs> if I take, they bring the rook up. Now let's try it. What have we got to lose? We've already lost our dignity. So. Um, I think they'll take this pawn. Looks like I'm back in the game somehow. Um, okay. Should I submit this game for today's Sunday game review? Would that be fun? Shogi Harbor's about to do a live stream momentarily. This could be a fun one to get reviewed. But also, uh, yeah. This is a new style of Shogi. Like, we've heard of freestyle, but this this is um, a sign that maybe you're playing too much Blitz Shogi, or Speed Shogi, or whatever they call it. In chess, we say you're playing too much Speed Chess. I don't know what you say in Shogi for somebody who just routinely blunders this way. Maybe it's fine. <laughs> Uh, so the opponent still is holding on to a rook in hand. Um, threatening to promote... I don't know. This is a very heavy sacrifice. I've never seen anything like this before. Um... Mm hmm So they get an initiative from that. Um, okay, we hit this gold and the rook and defend this pawn. And might be threatening other things. I can't really tell anymore what's happening. They want to do this lance drop. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm doubling my attack on this gold general, threatening the knight. I expected the sacrifice. I'm not sure that the bishop helps them here. Now the opponent has a rook and a bishop in hand. He's chomping down the edge of my castle. Um, if I had one more general, this would be entirely fine. As it stands, I'm not sure. Nanafun. This looks like I'm one general away from winning.
but that's one too many. Okay, we remove the attacking knight. Um, if I drop a rook, king takes, I take here. They drop another something to defend this. They don't have a gold. Oh, they could move the silver back to defend? Um, hmm. Is it enough? Seems to be enough. Um... What defends this, however? I think they're going to reinforce this gold. They didn't. Oh my gosh. Check takes... Oh, they're threatening this rook drop. No, they're not. All right, this was the idea. Well, this is an idea, rather. Um... Gofun. And I was expecting that they would block here. And if they happen to block, I can remove blocking pieces. I thought. Hmm. Sampun.
They have a lance drop, don't they? Maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hmm. This might not work the way I imagined. Oh, wait a second. Now that's mate. That's beautiful. Well played. There's no embarrassment, either in taking time to figure it out or in resigning. It took me time to figure out, for sure. What a day, what a show. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.